At this video, I'm gonna tell you all the things how I feel myself in the forest, B-roll, all by yourself. Very easy, simple, just need some gears. First one, big tripod. I can stand on the ground, it's very cheap on Amazon, just get one, like, it's very cheap. And second one, I have list lenses and it's like 16 to 50 meters. And the other lenses, this is Sony D5 meters to 210 meters. So it's just need two lenses and you are ready to go. I got some extra things from my film, so I got a drone and an action camera. This two from DJI. I just used this two. Easy, simple, and this is very lightweight. So this is drawn, I use like every week because it's like daily drawn. It's just very easy to carry and not that hard to bring it out and very tiny, very small, very useful. I got free battery, one hour flight, no problem. That's enough talking, let's straight get into it. First clip. I'm riding a bike on the road. I set this tripod and this camera and focus on the camera are coming. The second shot, I use different lenses. I usually change the lenses on this camera. Just shoot from the things you want to shoot. And this focus is pretty strong and autofocus. And the frame rate is like 24. All the frame rate is like 24 or 29, sometimes 24, sometimes 29, because sometimes I have time lapse. And ISO, I all shoot at 100 or 400, I'm not sure. Just around, sometimes need to change because the weather and the sunlight will change ISO. And I put some more lights in my videos at 0 0.7 plus. The next clip. I putting on this lenses as you see on my as you see on my videos I put my lenses on it and yeah just putting my lenses on it and clip and you can hear a very strong click 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 something like that later I'll talk about the sound effects where did I get from so next clip I'm walking into the forest and as you see I'm taking my camera on my hand since pretty good, I shoot on this one. It's pretty wide angle, and you can do some editing and put some push you in. No one film for me, all film by myself. Like I use this and the editing software. I just put some push in effects. That's all. Easy, simple. In the next clip, I'll talk about footstep. I usually use this to film my footstep because I can stick on this camera and this has stabilization in there and I just stick on this tripod it's easy to go, just need to handle it in the air because this can be longer and I just feel my footstep easy, no gimbals like you don't need fancy gears to film yourself just only free cameras to film this film easy so in the next shot filming very close for myself it's like, okay, I'll show how it looks like. When I do this, it's quite far, you can see my hands. But if you zoom in, if you zoom in, and when you see, when you look at the air, just look at this. Just need to move your hands very slightly, and no one will know who is filming for you. So the next clip, in the air, in the air. I use this because it's stabilization so the videos will not be shaky. So I spin this 360 degrees in the air just to look like I'm in the air or cinematic video. So next shot, I'm taking this camera and this lens. I'm shooting on environment and I just put some fake movements in the editing software. So it looks like someone's filming for me. And the next shot, I use this on this tripod, stick in there, ready to go. I just handle this and very close from the trees and just slide it, push it out. 
slowly push it out. Like very cool movement. And the next shot between the trees. So I need to take it off again. I take this camera on my hand and do some standing movements. So you need to move your legs, like link your feet so you can get the most most like a gimbal shot. Link your feet is more like gimbals. So you can get very steady shot and just go straight, go out, go straight, go out. Just need to try again and again so which clip is the best. And the next shot I set this camera on this tripod and I just turn like left to right. So just some cool shot. The next shot there's a grass. I take this action camera pull slightly out from where I'm standing like take my hand in the grass and pull it out so it looks cool the next shot is a drone shot going up and boom gone that's all so this is all of it so this b-roll like take me for two days or three days to film because sometimes I'll find out it's not enough clip to put it in and it's not that interesting like basically it's like this and all my sound effects is from YouTube I appreciate sure YouTube have a sound library and music library you can always change little sound into your own sound like you can change from like the bike sound you can change like you are in a cave you can change all of it and just need a good editing software I use DaVinci Resolve is like free editing software, like good color grading, good sound effects, good title, lots of other things all included. If you wanna check it out, the free editing software, I'll leave a link below. I'll leave all the things under the description. So you can go check it out if you want to and all the things I have is totally like this. Editing almost take me one two weeks, almost nearly one month. So, because color grading is quite hard and, and you learn from it, it takes time. Don't rush. Be real, don't rush. Like, when you rush to editing time, because editing is most important and you need the best audios. It's the main point. I think that's all for this behind the scene and I might see you next behind the scene. Peace out.